little patio area that they built. Oh, as you're soon, we're going to be moving to our annex. The place will be totally remodeled. That's base com right there. Another little com building. Water treatment facility. And behind us, mountains. So it's cloudy, overcast, so you really can't see them too well. The tower. See this thing for 20 some miles. Those little buildings over there. That's ITT, that's the civilian contractors. CE and such. And that's the base exchange slash shop at. That's all we got. Okay, that's security police with armory. Services. And the gym. And here we have basketball court. It's an outside court. Just remodeled, resurfaced, in the process of curing. Behind there's a tennis court, and behind the tennis court we're building a brand new sand volleyball trap. Don't have a softball field because the new dorms are being where they used to be at. Box number 58, that's mine. These are the other dorms, called NATO dorms. These are like where the senior NCOs stay at, laundry. And those hooches down there, those are the officers. Outside volleyball hard court, diner facility. Down through that little walkway right there is the orderly room. Swing back around, transportation, and behind transportation is the post office. Okay, that is the old Greek Dine facility. That's where the club action will be going to. It's being renovated. Half of it's going to be the club, the other half is still going to be FMO to put the wall up. So now I'm standing on the Greek side of the base, so as you can tell, the difference between American side and Greek side. Okay, they say right here is where they're going to build the new dormitories, which is where the softball field used to be at. Walking over here, right over here, that's the gas station for us over here, for folks that got their own cars. And it is manual, you have to hand crank the gas. That's right, 21st Century Air Force at its best. That's the gate. Right, this is from the Greek side, looking up towards the American side. Not much for us over there. This is the Greek motor pool. I'll be traveling down this way. Okay, these are part of the Greek military. Looks like dormitories, can't say for sure. Since all these buildings look alike, forgotten about and abandoned. That right there, that's the Greek officers club. We can go in there. Of course, we gotta pay in Greek money with the drachma. And I guess the drinks are real, real cheap in there. But it's rare that we go in there. Probably going to be using that for a 4th of July holiday, though. More to come. That right there. That's the Greek VX with the Greek military. We can use it, too, if we want to. Of course, everything there you got to pay for in Greek money. Never been in there, but one of these days I'm going to get around and get in there and see what they got. Fix and do, fix and go out the back gate, which takes you down to the sea where the beaches are at. This gate's only open in the summertime like this, other than that, it's closed. Spin back around. Ooh, I'm fixing to get one of my trucks, so let me walk. As you can see, the streets ain't too wide around here. A little part, part of the club. 
of course it's all tore up because there was an earthquake here. So I'm in the process of rebuilding it right now. All right, that's some of the damage that was done by earthquake. That should have been up and level. It dropped about two and a half feet. Thank you. 